Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Appalachian Craft Soda. These were sent to us from the company, which we greatly appreciate because uh, we had not spotted them around here before. These are made in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We have the Appalachian Root Beer, the Diet Appalachian Root Beer, the Appalachian White Birch Beer, and the Appalachian Ginger Beer. And I love it how it's in this box. Like a gift pack. Yes, and I, I don't know, but I'm hoping they sell it like this because I think a lot of people would be interested in buying it this way. And it mm -hmm. opens really easily. There was no tape or anything on it. It just opens right up like this. So, oh, that's cool. yeah, and these are uh, cold. breakable bottles. They have, yes, they have been in the refrigerator. Uh, which one do you want to try first? Whatever. Why don't we try the full calorie root beer first and then go to the diet. Why don't we just do it in the order they have it on here? We'll just do it in this order. Appalachian Craft Soda is small batch brewed using only the highest quality ingredients. We use the all natural sweeteners, pure cane sugar, honey, and stevia to create legendary flavor in every sip. All of our Appalachian Craft Soda products are caffeine free and certified gluten free. Cheers! So, this, um, I did a, a little bit of homework. <laughs> uh, the Appalachian root beer is 180 calories for the bottle. Our original root beer is brewed with pure cane sugar, a touch of vanilla, and a delightful blend of honey. Truly tastes like old fashioned homemade root beer thanks to wholesome ingredients. Appalachian root beer is a caffeine and gluten free craft soda. Yes, okay. It smells really good. It smells like strong, full on root beer. Yeah. Like a root beer barrel, barrel candy kind of taste, that's what it's gonna like. Oh, and that's what it tastes like. Like. Wow, well, that's definitely a full flavor root beer. Yes. So they didn't hold anything back on that mm -hmm. one. That is just like you took a bunch of those root beer barrel candies and melted them down and put them mm -hmm. in a drink. That's really good. That's what that tastes like. Can you reach the glass? Like Have you ever. And you know, I hadn't thought about it until just saying that melted. You can go ahead and start up it in the diet. Have you ever thought about what that might taste like warm? Mm. Heated up? Like? Yeah, I mean, heated up like a wassail. Do you think that would be good? No. I don't know. I don't know. We've never done it. I, you can't say it would be bad. No, but root beer, I like a good cold root beer. I know, I like root beer cold too. Be like drinking actual beer. Can you imagine but I'm, I'm warm just, beer is not very yeah, good? Yeah, warm beer wouldn't be good, but I'm just thinking because it's so sweet and you do get- the seasonings um, and spices and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Might be good. Might be. Um, Appalachian diet root beer, this is only 15 calories. Our handcrafted diet root beer is brewed like our regional root beer, except with stevia, an all natural sweetener and a touch of honey. It definitely has a different flavor. This one? Mm -hmm. It's not a bad flavor, it's just a different flavor. It's, it's a little bit of an aftertaste. It has a little bit of an aftertaste. It's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not as syrupy. Like syrupy, sweet. yeah. And it doesn't have that depth that yeah. the first one has. Like the so little, like, the, the, yeah, the depth is a good word. So it's like the, the um, you have a, a strong, deep, what is that? Like an anise, uh, what, what is that? Kind of that they, a licorice type flavor in that first one. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a very through and through uh, flavor that starts strong and ends strong. This one is just, it's much, much, much lighter. Right. So and, you and can tell it's diet. I get that sweetener aftertaste a little bit too. I do too. Yeah, which is, you're gonna get with most diet drinks, honestly. And if you want it, a uh, diet like we do, we prefer uh, diet beverages. It's just something you have to get used to. Yeah, yeah, and it's not bad. It's no. not bad at all. It's just, it is different. Though. The I more mean, you drink, the more you drink of it, the the more you get used to it. Yeah. Then that becomes your normal. Yeah. So you just have to get used to and it. If I had to pick, I'd pick the full sugar. Of one. course, but, yes. Um, I could definitely drink the diet one. Because the full sugar is like a dessert. Yeah, it is. It is. It's like a treat. You gotta hand me a glass. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> the um, Appalachian White Birch, Birch Beer. Okay. Yes. This one is going to be 147 calories. 
Our tremendously flavorful handcrafted birch beer is brewed with pure cane sugar, a touch of honey, and an essence of birch extracts, giving this soda a smooth, distinctive flavor. One thing I think of with birch is a tree. <laughs> I mean, Enjoy chilled or over ice for a cool, refreshing experience. You have the first drink. Uh, you said it to me about warm root beer and stuff. I'm sure people drank them warm, like sitting in the back of their car. And I don't mean that though. You mean I mean heated up, heated like a like a wassail, like a Christmas wassail, or you know, like you you drink hot. Oh no, see, I like that. Um, like you drink hot chocolate drinks. Uh, I'm talking about actually heating it up like it's more like a syrup. I think it would be no, good. I do not like that birch beer. Oh, no, I do. It tastes like medicine. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. At all. I don't think it's bad. The product itself is not bad. The company didn't make it bad. Right. Um, it's just, I don't I don't like the, that flavor. The flavoring for me is just not something I would ever want to get. It's very medicine-y. You know why you don't like it? Because it tastes, Kevin does not like black jelly beans. Yeah. And that like tastes kind of like a pure black mm, jelly bean. I can bean. See that. And I love that. Yeah. I love black jelly beans. Could eat them all day long. No, not for me. And that is very, very sweet. If you're like me, I know there's a lot of you out there that buy bags of just black jelly beans. You will like that birch beer. It's very carbonated. It is. I know. Okay. I know. The last one. Now, gingerbread, I don't mind because um, it's a really strong I can't drink. wait to try this. Um, I've been, I've been wanting a, like a diet ginger beer to try to, uh, because, oh wow, that looks like caramel. It looks like the color of ginger. It looks like caramel. Um, our Jamaican style ginger beer is brewed with pure cane sugar and fresh ginger extract. It has an unrivaled spicy tart complexity with a nice ginger bite. Tra this traditional island drink is great on a hot summer day. 126 calories. <laughs> don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't smell it. <laughs> you don't smell it, son. Yeah, okay. Mm. It is very, very strong ginger. It is very strong ginger. Oh yeah, like, oh, take your breath away, ginger. Um, and it's also got some other spices in there that, mm -hmm. that I, I don't mind it. She likes the <laughs> bite of the, quit breathing. You can't breathe no, it No, hold in. your breath. Um, and that's why you need to drink it out of the, the bottle. The bottle, so you can't, you don't have to We're pouring it, the only reason we're pouring it in a glass is for you all. Yeah, we, so you can see what it looks we like. We would ordinarily drink it out of the bottle. We're only doing it for you for a visual so you can see what they look like because I know I would be curious. Um, and so normally, if you're drinking it out of the bottle, you're, you're not, not breathing, breathing in all that ginger. Uh, it's very, very strong ginger. Um, it's almost like you've, you've got the ginger plant and you're biting it. <laughs> like you're eating a piece of raw ginger. That's how strong it is. If you like a strong ginger though. I like it. Yeah. I, I would drink it. Yeah. It's a little strong for me. It's not bad. I've had much worse that I didn't like because the flavors weren't balanced well. Mm -hmm. This one has a good flavor. It's just that bite is very, very strong. Right. And I, I really like it. This is stronger. Yeah. There are more spices than than other ginger beers that I have had mm -hmm. previously, but I love it. Yeah. And um, it's got a sweetness to it. And, and yeah, it's overall, it's, it's a good ginger beer. Um, it's stronger than like ginger snap cookies even. Oh yeah, yeah, and my throat is still, still has that burn, burn, but I like it. I yeah. enjoy it. To me, I, that I like that sensation. It feels good. I like it much better than the birch beer. And see, I don't know what it is with you and that birch beer. I like it. But I, but I like the root beer, of course, the best. I, this brand, I think, it's very is good. very, very nice. I have no complaints about all, uh, mm -hmm. any of them. No. And. Um, even though the company sent it to us, we always tell you the yeah, truth. Yeah, I would tell you. Well, I tell always, you the truth. That birch beer is awesome. Yeah, he didn't mind. like it. So, I mean, we're <laughs> always going to tell you the truth because I would not want you to go out and spend your money on something that I wouldn't spend my money on. And I would totally get these. Now, mm -hmm. I will warn you, if you drink diet, that diet one, you it does leave a little bit of that, I think it's that stevia aftertaste. But, like I said, if you're a diet drinker anyway, like we are, it's just something so, yeah, that, you, that, yeah, it's not going to bother you as much. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know, please, 
do you see this brand in your area? Uh, what store do you see them in? You know, let us know uh, if you've tried any of them, which one is your favorite, and thanks for watching. <laughs>